couple awards at the, uh, at the end of the festival. <clears throat> and uh, also for the guests who are in, in attendance, uh, we've got some cool trophy type uh, prizes for them. So here are the uh, award winners for our competition games. Again, those are the games that are over in the um, cabinets over there. Our first winner <clears throat> of the Teach the Controversy Award, Jesus versus Dinosaurs. You can come up to the front. We've got a we've got a little prize for you. We have a Jesus versus Dinosaurs developer in attendance. If not, I'm taking this dinosaur home. There we are. All right. Traveling all the way from Finland and Sweden. Excellent. Oh, I didn't even see the Darwin on there yet. Thanks, guys. It's a kick-ass game. The tournament was really awesome. If you guys got to see that. They know that the teach the controversy joke over there because they luckily don't have any controversy because they've got science. Um, the next award. <laughs> uh, this award is for the Implied Cephalopod Intercourse Award, and that's to Octodad. <laughs> there, were, there were things unseen in that game that haunt me. Traveling all the way from Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. That's another exotic place where they probably have science. Radical. I am a big Octodad fan. It's an awesome game. Octodad 2 is going to be even better. All right, uh, next award is for the most recent use of Japanese tradition by Westerners, and it's to Skulls of the Shogun. It's a very cool turn-based strategy game you should check out. We have uh, Skulls of the Shogun uh, developers in attendance. All right. From Dallas. The, uh, from Dallas, I believe. Another exotic locale. And we're, he's being awarded an actual real samurai sword cleaning kit. No, for real. It's real. <laughs> now he just has to get a samurai sword. Freak all his friends out. Okay. Uh, coming up next, we've got the Mandelbrot Award to Fract, which is a totally psychedelic vector freakout full of cool puzzles. And do we have, uh, I don't believe we have Frack developer in attendance. Uh, next up, the Bionic Commando Award for Grappling Hook Excellence goes to Capsize, another fabulous game. Check it out. <laughs> next up, the Most Punished for Lack of Ninjas Award goes to Radical Fishing from Vlambert, who we love. Come up and get some stuff. They were up here playing the arcade game earlier. I know they're still in here. Rami, uh, JW. Drinking. We've got a beautiful pewter fisherman for them. Uh, next up, the You Got 2D in My 3D or maybe 3D in My 2D award goes to the fabulous Fez. Fez also won the Audience Choice Award. Um, All right. It's a spectacular game. And if any of you guys saw the director commentary earlier, it's coming from a totally amazing, well-thought-out place. Phil Fish, all the way from Canada. Exotic Canada, and we've got a Lego Gomez for him, the main character from his game. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming, man. And then, yeah. Got the, they're all getting, I believe they're all getting that uh, Eco Shadow of the Colossus remake, and... Those games are fucking awesome. Uh, next up, the coveted Best in Show Award goes to Far Away. Get on up here, Steph. Far Away is a brilliant, elegant, minimalist game that everybody needs to play. You need to lay hands on it and feel it because it is awesome and you will want to play it a bunch. Steph, where are you? Come on up here. And also we got Vlad Bear. Come here, you got you got the fisherman. Yeah. Do we have Steph yet? I can't see. Gentlemen, thank you for coming. We love you, and we eagerly await ridiculous fishing, which is the iOS version, which has crazy, super awesome, amazing art. Yeah. Is Steph here? 
Where is he? Get him up here. Dude, you just won the audience, the, excuse me, the Best in Show Award, which is our coveted award for the best in show game because your game fucking kicks ass. And thank you for coming, man. Uh, you're going to have to hand that to him. And you will, of course, have to drink all of this right now. Or at least, at least a sip. We get a photo of our uh, champion best in show here. Um, and I hope all of you guys will come back again next year. Um, I personally am so goddamn excited that we're doing this now and that Austin has this. And um, I'm glad to have all of you here and I want to keep doing it. Drink it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't mix the perilously balanced electrical object and the giant beer. Drink it. Right on. And thanks to all of you guys for coming. It's been a great year, and uh, see you next year. Thanks to all our sponsors, too. We'd like to thank all the volunteers that helped out with this year's Fantastic Arcade. David Lopez, Kevin, Daniela, Dustin, Victor, Rich, Danny and Victoronica, Lauren, Eric, Crystal, Don, Janet, Christina, Kat, and Louise, all helping out for completely free. <laughs> Big help at the Fantastic Arcade and Fantastic Fest. The arcade staff includes Mike Plant, Brandon Boyer, John Gross, Jesse Samford, Mark, Eric, Marshall, and Steve and Dylan, and everyone in the highball staff. Extra special thanks to Toy Joy, Discount Electronics, GameStop, and Larry Perez Graphics. We'll be open till 8 o'clock. Keep playing free games. Keep drinking free shiners. Our other sponsors include Ambar Tequila, PlayStation Network, AMD, Fearnet, Fandango, Alienware, Wellgo USA, Lightbox, Real D, Hitfix, Radisson, Knuckle, Embassy Suites, Sirius Sam 3, Maxwell Lock and Ritter, Stephen F. Austin Intercontinental, Paramount, Insurge, IFC Midnight, Midas Green Touch, Akela Commercial, Dark Sky Films, Gear Rental, Texas Frightmare Weekend, Django, Whole Foods Market, Austin Chronicle, Austin Convention and Visitors Bureau, Texas Motion Picture, Picture Alliance, Artists Against Cancer, Badass Digest, Ain't It Cool News, and Twitch. Keep on keeping on, everybody. Fantastic Arcade will be back in 2012.